Hey, what's going on, my fellow collectors? Jim here. Let's take a look at the Marvel Legends Game Reverse Spider-Man based on the new Spider-Man video game. So this was definitely one that I wanted to pick up just because I do like the costume design, even though I have not yet played the game because I still have a PlayStation 3 because I just don't play video games enough to go out and buy a PlayStation 4. You know, just between work and being a parent, you know, it's hard to keep up on those video games. But um, the packaging is kind of what we're used to. It's pretty much what we see with Marvel Legend. The motif's a little bit different. We do have white up here. It says Game Reverse. It does say Spider-Man. Very cool image of Spider-Man on the side here. I love that. And that's actually from the game. Same exact image on this side. A lot of missing detail. We'll get into that, um, you know, as we open the figure up. Uh, more images from the actual game, a little bit of a read up more or less on the game as well. Top of the packaging, not much going on, bottom of the packaging. Uh, one weird thing about this packaging is it's kind of like opened. Like this bubble is pretty much completely open. You can stick your entire hand right in there, so it's a little bit strange. But yeah, let's go ahead and get Spider-Man out and take a closer look at this new Spider-Man. Okay, and here he is out of the packaging. So we don't get too much with this Spider-Man figure. We do get two big, long web accessories, which we've seen before. And they are kind of in that, like, pearlescent white kind of color. They are bendy, but they don't hold any shape. So, I mean, but it is nice that they included that. We do get two sets of hands. So we, got a, we get a set of fists, and we get a set of flipping hands. But we do not get wall-crawling hands, which is a little bit disappointing because... I feel like they could have at least thrown in, you know, the wall crawling hands. But I will say I do like the white on the hands. I think it makes it kind of pop. We have this nice little white pad here. And the knuckles get some white paint on it as well. We get a little bit more white. And then we have this white that kind of goes up his forearm. So, you know, the overall look of the suit is pretty cool. Same thing with the fist. And then we get the nice, you know, uh, clean web lines painted on the figure as well so I know with Hasbro it's kind of hit or miss but um looks like I got fairly lucky with my figure I don't see a lot of paint imperfections I mean the the um, spider on the front of the suit looks really clean I gotta say it looks pretty you know pretty clean I don't see any splotches whatsoever it might be a little bit light up here in this corner but um, overall I think it does look really nice same thing on the back as well nice clean sculpt or nice clean paint and then for as far as the uh painted black web lines i think they did a great job all over the figure as well now of course we've seen this body before of course with like sunfire and even like spider-man uh 2099 so uh, the feet look really cool i do like the feet they look cool two peg holes on the bottom now one thing i will say i wish they would have added is if you look at the side of the packaging and I'm sure this is accurate to the game I really wish they would have you know did some digital sculpting and gave us this kind of texture that we see on the blue part of the suit that would have really really made this figure pop you know and it looks like the blue is even a lighter shade in the game than it is on this figure we could kind of like this the same exact blue well actually a little bit darker than the spider-man UK but you know what I mean? And of course, you know, a sculpted spider would have, you know, really, really made things pop. But um, I understand that, you know, with the articulation, that might have made it a little bit difficult. But at least they did paint, continue to paint the lines um, on the front and the back and even on the butterfly joints. So that's a cool feature. I am getting a little bit of rub right here just from, you know, articulating it around. So watch out for that. And they even, you know, continued the paint on the butterfly joints. So, you know, overall, not too bad. Now, it looks like the head sculpt is the exact same head sculpt we got with the Spider-Man UK, which I wasn't really a big fan of because I just don't like this kind of big square jaw they give them. I just don't feel like Spider-Man has a big square jaw like that. But um, it is nice because we do get sculpted eyes, you know, the black part of the eye is sculpted really clean paint on the webs but yeah, I'm just not a huge fan of that kind of big bulky jaw that they give them it looks a little gappy when you you know get them looking up as well so but yeah I mean overall articulation is what we're used to uh, you get full rotation with the head you get really nice down really nice up 
you don't really get a lot of pivot at all. The arms, they hinge out, you know, almost a little bit better than 90 if you kind of force it, so that's nice. Really, really nice butterfly joints with this guy, so that's great. You can get them going all the way back, pretty nice forward. Uh, you do have a bicep swivel, you do have double jointed elbows, and of course the hands do swivel and hinge, and they're easy enough to, you know, pop out, it's just a peg system pop it back in. Now one thing I will say, um, I noticed that Hasbro has recently been like pre-posing their figures in the packaging, which I mean isn't that big of a deal, but one thing I noticed with my Spider-Man is because of the way they had him posed, I can't get this arm down. Like I can get his right arm, you know, to look really natural, like it's right next to his body. This one right there is not going any further in than that. So that one's always kind of sticking out, which is which kind of bugs me a little bit. I don't really like that. Now, I don't know if that was from him, them, them having him kind of pre-pose in the packaging or if it's just, you know, something up with my figure. But that is one thing that I don't like. It just kind of like sticks out that I can't get his arm eh, in there like that. But um, we get a nice ab crunch. Nice ab crunch back. You do have rotation at the waist. It does break the sculpt up. Uh, the legs aren't too bad. We get decent movement going out. Uh, kicking forward, it kind of kicks out at an angle, but you can even kind of, you know, bring that in and use that upper thigh cut to kind of give you crazy Spider-Man poses. So that's not too bad. You do have a thigh cut right there. You do have double jointed knees. Nice move with the knees. You do have your shin swivel, which is nice and seamless, but as soon as you move it, it gets pretty ugly. And then for the foot, you can hinge the foot back, hinge it forward, and you get a nice little rocker, you know, forward facing pin for rocker. So, you know, all the nice articulation that you would want for any Spider-Man figure. Let's take a look at some comparisons and give you a height measurement first on this guy. So breaking out the tape measure, it looks like Spider-Man to the top of his head is just a little under six and a half inches tall to the top of his head. Now as far as some comparisons, we'll get the 2099 out of the way since this is the exact same body. As you can see, they're going to pretty much stand uh, exactly the same height because they're pretty much the exact same body all the way around and of course the spider-man uk of course same head sculpt but he was just a little bit beefier so you can see he stands a little bit taller let's throw spider-man noir in there we're going we're going to get a bunch of spider-mans out here or try to pan this back a little bit move some stuff over uh spider-man from or the tech suit from the homecoming so you can see he's you know definitely shorter than the other figures same thing with iron spidey he seems to he seems to want to stand a little bit uh, on the short side as well compared to the video game spider-man and then the ultimate spider-man what was like a com comic book spider-man that came with the two-pack you can see he is going to be the shortest of the bunch out of all of these Spider-Man figures. So there's a bunch of different Spider-Mans to compare. But yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, it does make a cool figure. Uh, the one thing, um, you know, I tried swapping some heads and really, I don't think anything really works. The only thing I was thinking that what kind of matches the body is this Spider-Man figure. And I haven't even tried it, so let's see. Because, I mean, the UK is the only one that that kind of matches, that kind of has the same color, even though it's a little bit uh, darker tone with the UK. This is the closest red. Actually, it's a, even a little bit more of a bright red. But I don't even know if this is going to fit on the ball joint. It might be too small. Yeah, I don't even think that's going to fit on that ball joint. And it would look ridiculous because as you can see how tiny it looks on its head. But um, I mean, if you have other Spider-Man figures, you might be able to, you know, find one that matches up that fits on there a little bit better. But yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's a cool looking Spider-Man, especially if you're a big fan of the game. 
I think that you are really going to enjoy this figure. I mean, I do wish they would have at least given us some wall crawling hands and maybe some more accessories, but you know, I mean, at the end of the day, it still makes a cool looking Spider-Man. He's going to look great up against your other Spider-Mans in the collection. Pop that head back on there. And he's got that, you know, that body that everybody seems to like because it does give you really, really nice articulation. So you're going to be able to get him in some pretty cool Spider-Man poses. Let's get all the other Spider-Man out here just for a last little final look. But yeah, guys, that was a look at the Marvel Legends, the Gamerverse Spider-Man. So that is a Spider-Man based on the new Spider-Man video game. Yeah, cool figure at the end of the day. It does have some pretty cool things. Again, I wish they would have added the texture or the um, texture throughout the blue part of the suit. I wish they would have matched the blue a little bit better as stuff starts falling. But, I mean, you know, again, it's more or less just a repaint. So it's more or less just if you really like the game or really just want to add another Spider-Man figure to your collection. Yeah, I'd say go for it because the white on this does make it pop and it's going to make it look good amongst all your other Spider-Man figures as stuff starts falling over here. But yeah, that was a look at the figure, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next figure review. Take care.